Hello, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zakaraya, the ghost. Guys, I have to make this video. I was just talking to one of my beautiful sisters, you know, on WhatsApp, and she was telling me that she's going to, you know, do a yard test on, on Friday. And unfortunately, we don't have enough time. So I was busy chatting with her. I don't know what happened. I said I'll make a video tonight. And now when I check time, it's already past nine. You know, so I hate to delete, you know, a WhatsApp. Let me make a video, guys. Let me make a video because she wants to know about a step hill, incline. She needs to know, she wants to know how to do it. Let me quickly go deep into it without wasting your time. Guys, by this time when you are about to do the step hill, you already checked your truck. You did your pre-trip inspection or your truck inspection. You are sure about your truck. You know that your brake pedal, your clutch pedal, and your accelerator, they are working well. You know that your handbrake is fine, your gear and everything is okay. Your truck is ready to go to the road, right? Now you go to the step hill. When you climb the step hill, you will find out that there is a stop sign. And that stop sign, it has a solid line, white solid line. Make sure that you stop your car before the white solid line. Not on top not over the line, before the solid line. And make sure that the distance between the truck and the solid line, it is not far because of you taking advantage of the speed of the truck when it's climbing. Now, what you are going to do once you are there, you are sure that this is the spot where I want to stop my truck, you press full clutch, you start with the clutch. Remember guys, you press full clutch with your left foot. Full clutch. Then you press your brake pedal. Not the accelerator. You press your brake pedal depending on how soft or how hard it is. You don't want to press hard finding that it's a soft one and the truck starts jumping. You have to make sure that you press it accordingly. Then it will stop your vehicle. Once your vehicle is stopped, right there, you hold it with the brake, right? The brake pedal is there to make sure that you stop, you hold it. Then, the third thing you do, you pull your hand brake. I know trucks has two different hand brakes. There is the other one that you just press here and you pull it up. And when you have to release it, you press it and you pull it down. We have the other one whereby you have to hold it, unlock it, pull it, and lock it again. If you don't know how to use that one, you are in trouble. So you need to know the handbrakes because they are very much important. Now, because of you pulled your handbrake, the fourth thing that you do, your feet are still on the brake pedal and the clutch pedal. You don't, you don't leave them. What you do now, you put your car on neutral. Because of now the handbrake is up. You put your car on neutral. Once you see that your car is on neutral, the handbrake is up. You're still pressing them. You are sure that my handbrake is up. Then you leave your clutch pedal slowly and your brake pedal. You let your truck hide you. Because of now, what we are going to do now, we are going to move forward, but the truck, it is not rolling backwards. Now, we used to use this technique because it works so well everywhere. I know some other people from driving school, they are against it. They will tell you that you must hold it only with the clutch but let me tell you something you cannot rely on one thing if you spend that money to get a driver's license and you know how difficult you saved so that you can book for that you cannot rely on one thing that's why i'm saying once you use the clutch pedal that clutch control and also the handbrake you give the truck no chance it must go forward it cannot go backwards but i'm gonna tell you how we do it because of some of you guys we had about people saying you must you know release the handbrake when the truck is shaking i'm gonna give you a trick of how to shake the truck now you look at the inspector or the instructor after you did everything make sure your feet are off both pedals then you look at your instructor the instructor will tell you that okay from here now you are going to go forward and you will turn to your left. It also depends on different testing station. You must turn to your left and from thereafter you must, he will tell you some other stuff before we go to the Ali King and stuff. Now he will tell you what to do. Now let's focus here when you move from this 
step here. You repeat the same procedure. You press, the trial is still hydrating, the handbrake is up, you gear is on your trial, remember that. Now you press the full clutch, we need the clutch again. You press full clutch, then you select gear number one. You make sure that your truck is on gear number one, you don't want the second gear, you don't want reverse, you put gear number one. Remember guys, because gear number one, it has power when it comes to truck and it's going to do a good trick, you know. Always put it on the first gear. Now you put your truck on the first gear. The second thing you do, because the first thing, because you put the, the foot on the clutch pedal, then you selected your gear. Now what you do, you put that right foot to the accelerator. Now you don't put it on the brake pedal, you put it on the accelerator. While your truck is on gear number one. You slowly release your foot to your clutch pedal while you are slowly pressing your, your right foot to the accelerator. While you are taking off your foot slowly, depending on how gentle your clutch pedal is, then you are gently pressing your accelerator gently with your right foot. Then the truck will want to go forward. But the problem is that your handbrake is still up. Now, once you keep doing the same procedure slowly, you will hear the truck wanting to go forward, starting to shake. But it tells you that there is something which is holding me. And you know that what is holding the truck is the handbrake and the truck wants to go. But I'm not going to release the handbrake if the truck convinces me that it has enough power to go forward without switching off. You must be careful of that. Driving is a language. You need to communicate with your truck. If your truck is high, is start shaking a lot, that means it has too much power, it wants to go forward. And if you waste more time, it's going to switch off. So you need to be careful with that. You hear most people telling you that, oh man, that truck just died on me, man, while I'm busy doing my test, you know. It's because of the timing is very much important. Now, if they give you the timing of clutch pedal without using handbrake, I'm going to speak about it and you will see why the handbrake, you know, still works all the time. Now, your, drug, your truck, once you feel it that it, it's shaking, it wants to go, then you release your handbrake while you are pressing. Let me put it this way. Your truck is shaking. You feel like now is the time. My truck is ready and I want to go forward. What you do, because of you are still pressing the accelerator slowly when you're leaving the truck. Remember, a truck, once you are leaving the clutch, already it wants to go forward, even if you didn't put the accelerator. But because of you wanting to have power to cross to the other side, you put the accelerator. And now once you are ready to move forward, what you do, you make sure that this, once it's going back a bit, this one, you put more power, then you quickly release your handbrake. Then your truck goes forward. And I'm going to you know, explain why you should do things that way. Because of if you don't do them that way, what will happen? Why you have to work on the gears? Why you have to balance with the clutch? Why the handbrake is important? Why don't you, you know, press the brake pedal when you are going forward? Instead of, you know, why did you choose to press the accelerator around the brake pedal? I'm going to explain that. Then again, let me repeat this. When you want to go forward, you press full clutch, you put your foot to the accelerator. Right? Because of you already put, press full clutch with your left foot, then you select gear number one, the first gear, so that the car can go forward or the truck can go forward. Now because of you saw that it's on gear number one, you don't release the handbrake. You leave the handbrake the way it is. Now, you selected gear number one, you start doing what? Slowly removing your foot from the clutch pedal while you are pressing the accelerator slowly. So the truck will have power, it will want to go forward, and once you feel like it's in a good position where it can go forward, what you do, you take down the handbrake. You release the handbrake while you are leaving the clutch pedal and pressing the accelerator. 
Once you leave the clutch pedal, the truck wants to go forward. Always remember, once you leave the clutch pedal, the truck automatically will go forward if it's on gear number one, or it will go backwards if it's on reverse without pressing the accelerator. But now you are leaving the clutch pedal, pressing the accelerator to give it more power to go forward because of now you are doing that with your feet while you are releasing the handbrake. You give it power to go forward and you release it with the handbrake. I wanted to explain it you know, the right way. And the second video, I'm going to tell you why you should do things that way and what you should avoid doing. I appreciate you guys for your love and support. Thank you.